Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have just a little fun uh, discussing this quirky little timepiece that I just acquired. It's a uh, watch and a metronome. <laughs> Let's get into it. Now, most of you probably don't know this. I am a watch fanatic. It's, it's a collecting thing of mine. I love timepieces, love watches. And last December, I was watching TeddyBaldazar.com or Teddy Baldazar here on YouTube. And this watch came up as one of his favorites for the year. And I went, I need to own that. It's a metronome. I'm a musician, you know, and looked for it. It's, it's what's known as a JDM model. So it's only available in Asia. And it took, some, it took me a little bit of time to hunt one down and get it shipped over here. And I just got it. I bought it from a off website from a company in Singapore. It was on my desk in two days. DHL making the landing. Uh, I can't get a letter from New York City to here in Vegas in five. So, you know, high five DHL for that one. In any case, came from Singapore. There are different models. This one happens to be the SMW006. Other models will have a different number at the end, depending on what the dial looks like, what the color of the dial is. So there's other different colors. And if I can come up with them, I'll post them somewhere here or here or somewhere, hopefully. Um, Seiko, Seiko, this company, what did they say? Uh, if you know watches, you don't, Seiko is just a thing. It's like the biggest watch company in the world. Uh, their roots go back, wow, all the way to 1881. Seiko, way back, 1881 out of Japan. Fantastic timepieces, fantastic affordable timepieces if you're, if you're going for it. <laughs> they have so many watches of all different sorts. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. So, um, I own, I own a few Seikos. They're fantastic watches for the price. This particular one again is also a metronome. So it keeps time. It's a metronome. It has a quartz movement inside of it. It would have been pretty wild if they would have made this either mechanical or automatic where you got to wind it or something. And like the metronome actually works. That would be pretty wild, but uh, and then instead it's a quartz movement, so there's a battery inside this one. Um, let's see here. Uh, the caliber inside this watch is the PA50, so that's what's running the time, the, the hands for both time and for the metronome. Uh, it's a, it's a two hand display. There's no second hand, so the two hands in the watch, the hour hand and the minute hand both tell time and then they have their function for the metronome which you're going to see throughout the video okay by the way i'm going to keep looking back and forth i'm going to try to get some up close uh, uh runnings of this watch so I, you can see what the buttons do and how it works but up close because obviously i can't get this any closer to you guys so throughout the video you're going to see you're going to see up close shots um let's see here the default of the watch is timekeeping. That's the first thing you're going to see. It's going to be it's going to be defaulted to timekeeping. Right now it is uh, five till uh, no. I take that back. It is eleven on the mark. Eleven a.m. here in Las Vegas on a Saturday, uh, <laughs> but it's spot on at eleven. So its main its first function is a watch. Then what you end up doing with it. There are four buttons on it. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Kind of runs like a Casio. If you guys have like a like a, a, a Casio, you know, um, quartz watch, digital watch, it, the buttons sort of work that way. Okay. Now down here, this button here is the mode button. And when I press it, it changes modes. Okay. So the first mode that we do, and again, I'm going to do it down here. We're going to pop up. We're going to pop up video to show you up close. But if I press that first mode button, it goes from a watch 
to the metronome and you get this dancing minute hand. The hour hand is what will go along and check off, not check off, but it goes along all the beats per minute around the, the uh, internal bezel. I'm gonna call it a bezel. You watch guys are gonna crucify me for that, but I think that's the best way to explain it. Also, with those numbers, which is going from, let's see, it's going from 40, that's crazy slow, all the way up to 304, crazy fast, and all these numbers in between. So it goes from super slow up to super fast. The hour hand, which has a, a uh, they're like, we're gonna call it syringe hands. So um, the hour hand has a red, it's a red hand, and the minute hand is just the color of the hand. Uh, chrome or whatever you want to call it. The hour hand is going to point to the number. The minute hand is going to dance back and forth like a metronome. <laughs> okay. Then if you can't hear it, there's a button. So we have the mode button. Then we have the sound button. Okay. Now, if I press the sound button while the metronome is going, hopefully you can hear that in the microphone. That then is giving you the tempo. You need to stay in time with that. That's your beat, okay? And then we can move it faster by pressing this button up here. If I press it once, it moves one click faster. Press it again, it moves another digit faster. If I press it, if I long press it, which you'll see in the other videos, it'll move all the way around quicker. Like it'll just move till you take your finger off of it. Okay. Next. So you have the numbers, you have the beats per minute. Then you also have the Italian the Italian uh, tempo designations. And they go from largo to prestissimo, largo being very slow to prestissimo being very fast, okay? That's also written on the dial, which you'll see in the other parts of the video. Next, if I push the mode button one more time, we go to what's known as a reference tone. Okay. Now a reference tone, what that is, it's like if you need to tune your instrument and it's an A440. There's also A442 and A443. And then there's also B flat. And the weird thing here about the watch is when you're tuning to A and A440, the 440 is marked, the 442 is marked, and the 443 is marked. But B flat, okay, which we tune to, 440, 442, and 443 are not B-flat in any way, shape, and po or possible. I mean, it just doesn't exist. That's the wrong numbers. But I understand that on the dial, it would be crazy small if you, if you did that. Um, a B-flat, B-flat, what did I put here? B-flat is actually 466.16. And then you've got two clicks slightly above that. So... Those numbers are in hertz, by the way. So it's it's how the waves, when you hear it, 440, A440 is a certain wave pattern in hertz. And and uh, all the pitches that you hear in music have certain different speeds of hertz. That's what makes them, that's what makes them their pitch. Okay. So, but I just wanted to clarify that. A440, 442, 443, yes, B flat. 440, 442, 443 does not exist, okay? It just, I'm sure it's not an oversight. I'm just sure it's its just one of those things where like, we've got no more room on the dial, so we can't really print that, all right? So right now, uh, I've got this at A440, and if I press the sound button, that's A440. 
and you would tune the A on your instrument to that note, to that pitch, okay? 442, many orchestras use A442. Instead, strings tend to play sharp, so that's why. B flat, you're looking at concert bands, trumpets, um, you know, and anything in the concert band from flutes through tubas, okay? Trumpets happen to be in the middle of that. Um, okay, so it's just a cool little little thing here. Um, if I press that mode button one more time, we go back to the watch, okay? And it's just fun to see how every time you press the mode button, the hands do this fun little dance at the top of the, at the, top of the dial and then lock into what it's supposed to be doing, okay? Um, let's see, what do we got on here? Uh, oh yeah, so it's a quartz watch, so it's running on a battery. Now, if it just runs what, the watch function, the battery's gonna last quite a while, a few years, okay? Probably up to two years. That's usually what a quartz battery does, two to three years. Um, but if you're using the metronome, that's more battery power. If you're using the reference tone, that's more battery power. So you're decreasing your battery power. It's not a lot, okay? But it is something. It's minuscule, but it is something and it's gonna have an effect on your battery. It says uh, that if you left this in metronome mode, if you just left that hand bobbing back and forth, uh, after seven minutes of inactivity, meaning it's just running and you haven't touched it, it's gonna go, it's gonna switch right back into watch mode. And if you left it in reference tone mode, uh, it's gonna go back after three minutes, okay? It'll go back after three minutes. So there is a battery saving function on here already built in. And again, it's going to wear your battery down faster, but it's going to be incremental. Okay, it's not going to be a whole lot. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, time setting on this watch. So when you want to set the time, what you end up doing is you press down the button at, at uh, 10 o'clock up here, and you hold it for like two seconds. Then you can change the, the uh, time of your watch by using the up button or the down button, okay? Up button moves the, t moves the time forward. Down button moves the time backward, okay? Uh, and so obviously if you want to move it, if you got to move it like two hours ahead, just press the up button, just press it down and hold it. Don't go ding, 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 ding. That, wow, you, you're gonna put a hole in your finger. So just hold that button down. Same thing if you need to go backwards in time a long way, just hold down the, the uh, back button, okay? Just hold down the down button and it'll go faster, okay? Just, it'll just work its way back into what you need it. Um, let's see here. Pros, pros to this watch. First of all, it's a good looking watch. Okay, it's a, it's a really cool, it's a good looking watch. Not gonna lie, for the money, good looking watch. Uh, the functionality of it is pretty darn neat. Okay, if, if, if you're a true musician, you, you're probably gonna use your, your cell phone, your mobile phone with, with whatever metronome app and whatever tuning app you have, you have on it. Yes, the, the, your, your mobile phone is probably better. But if this is on your wrist and you need a reference tone real quick, boom, there it is, okay? You can just dink, dink, and it's there. Um, it's a good looking watch. The functionality is cool. Uh, battery life is decent. Um, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just a fun little quirky thing. If you're a musician and a watch geek like me, I think you need it in your in your collection. I just do. Even if you never use it, it's just if you're a watch geek and you have a collection, it's worth having. It's just it's just fun. It's cool looking. Um, let's talk about a con. Uh, the con for me is sizing. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. This is a what? Uh, what's the size on this? The the case on this is thirty six point five millimeters across. I wear usually 40 millimeter watches, sometimes down to 38 millimeter and sometimes 42. Those all fit my wrist quite well. When I put this on 36 mil, 
it felt small. It didn't look all that bad. Trust me, it, it really didn't. It looked, it looked cool, not gonna lie. But when I, my brain is so used to looking down and seeing like a 38 mil to a 42 mil on my wrist, this one definitely looks smaller because I don't have a watch that small. Yes, it's two millimeters, but it looked, it looked, I don't know, it, it looked off to me. Um, but in the same time, it still looked great. Uh, let's see, the thickness, thickness is great, 9.8 millimeters. I mean, this thing just falls right under a cuff. There, there, I mean, shirt, cuff, whatever, it's thin. It's, there's nothing to it. It's a, it's a thin watch, really. Uh, lug to lug. That's from the lug to the lug. Um, oops, what happened? Lug to lug is 39.5 millimeters, and the lug width is 18 millimeters, which is going to lead me to a con, okay, which is going to lead me to a con. And that con is the strap. Now, if you're a watch fanatic like me, you probably have a, a collection of straps that you change out on watches. The, the odd thing about this strap is it's not horrible. The, 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 the material or whatnot, I don't think is horrible. Yes, I have better leather straps, okay? No doubt about it. I have better, better leather straps than this one. But I wouldn't say... I've got some that are horrible. This isn't horrible, but the biggest con is, is that it's too small for my wrist. So when I put this thing on, I'm in the last hole. The last hole, that means this thing is small. Now my wrist, I think seven and a quarter is pretty average, probably six and a half inches to seven and a quarter, seven and a half. Those are usually guys sizes. I'm on the last hole. And it's sort of snug around my arm, like like uh, I'll put it in a video. I'll put a picture of it up, and you can see uh, see how it it's like squeezing my wrist a little bit. But other than that, it's not. It's a decent. It's an acceptable strap. I mean, the quality. You know, we'll see how long it lasts. But again, I'm probably gonna swap it out real soon after this video and put a different black strap on. But again, I mean, it's it's a decent enough strap. Um, the case itself is all polished, but the, but the back, um, everything about it is polished stainless steel. It is a stainless steel watch. Um, the back is brushed, circular brushing on the back. Back says metronome. Um, what else we got in there? Seiko, uh, instruments, uh, water resistant. What is the water resistance? I don't know. I think it's like 50, 50, uh, 50 meters. So you're not going to, don't take this in the water. Just don't. Yeah. It'll, it'll handle rain. You know, if it, if it gets a doink of water on it, it's going to handle rain just fine, but don't go swimming with it. All right. Uh, it tells you your model that it's stainless steel. Uh, yeah, I think this is a cool little piece. I really do. Um, I'm happy I own it. Well, how much will I wear it? That'll be that. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'm gonna swip, swap, swip, swip, swip. Is that even a word? Swip. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, get rid of the get rid of the strap, and I'm gonna put on uh, swap. That's a word. I'm gonna swap out a different strap on it and see what I see what I think about it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it for a while, and uh, I just dig it. I really do. I think it's a. I think it's a very cool little piece. Um, uh, price, price on this price on this from the company I bought it from was two ninety, but I didn't, I'm assuming the import tax was already put into it because other people said that they found it for 200, but then they had to pay the import tax, which was like $70, you know, or $80, something like that. So, um, I got this from this company in, in, uh, Singapore, two ninety. no import tax for me showed up in two days. It's just a fun little thing to have if you love watches and you love music. That's all I can say. Um, if you're that person, it's worth the purchase. You know, Don't go into debt. Don't go into debt for it. But it's definitely worth having. If, if, you, if you've got the bread, do it. Just get it done. Just get it done. I'm going to put the website that I got it from 
in the description. So if you want one, you'll be able to just to click on it and it'll go to it. They seem to have all the colors. The, the company that I got it from has all the colors in stock. Uh, and you'll be able to see, but I thought that a couple of colors were might be slightly more expensive, slightly less expensive, things like that. But this particular watch, this colorway is the most popular and it took a while for them to get it back in stock and now they have them. So keep that in mind. This is that uh, 006 SMW 006. So other than that, folks, I thought, I hope, I thought, what? I hope you've had some fun with me today on this quirky little journey of, of music and watch collecting. <laughs> and outside of that, do you guys like watches? Are you a, are you a uh, mechanical, automatic, quartz watch guy like me? Are you a smart watch person? You know, the Apple Watch or whatever Samsung puts out, you know, um, is, is that your jam? Let me know down in the, uh, down in the comments section. All right, folks, if you're liking what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video if you want. And until the next time, take care, everybody. Bye.